Are fencing skills useful for self-defense? Well, there are three answers to that question. Absolutely, definitely not, and maybe. It all depends on which fencing skills we're talking about. In regards to the answer, definitely not. What are you, crazy? Do you live in 18th century Paris? You're going to be walking around with a sword for self-defense? Nobody carries a sword anymore. And if you are walking around carrying a sword, I think that raises some questions in itself. So the idea of fencing techniques being applicable to modern self-defense situations, don't be ridiculous. If your opponent is unarmed, why would you draw your sword? If your opponent is armed with a firearm, you've just brought a really long knife to a gunfight. And if your opponent is armed with a sword, you're in a movie. If somebody mugs you, do not try and fall into your on-guard stance and do a beat disengage. It's not going to help you. So the answer is definitely not. And don't be silly. Before we go on, a brief disclaimer. I'm not a lawyer, and nothing I say should be taken to constitute legal advice. The laws on self-defense vary from place to place, and you need to know what the law is wherever you are. So I'm not giving you any advice to do something. I'm not giving you any advice not to do something. I'm looking at this purely as hypothetical, academic, and theoretical. Now in the category of absolutely yes, let me just say one thing. Attack on the preparation. That's the finest fencing skill you can have. What is it involved? Being able to attack on the preparation. It means you must have situational awareness, early pattern recognition, focus, and fear management. And all of those things are very valuable in self-defense situations. And now we enter the mythical land of maybe. Depending on the tactical situation, there may be some applicability fencing skills to self-defense. When you consider that a saber is basically a sharp stick, it may be possible that there is some implement at your disposal that can be used in a sword-like manner for self-defense purposes. But I wouldn't count on that. While the techniques of fencing may not be applicable to self-defense, the heart and mind of the swordsman are directly applicable to self-defense. 